Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing extremely well. First of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. You can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. With that note, let's get started. So today's problem is append characters to string to make subsequence. So we have been given two strings S and T consisting of only lowercase English letters. Return the minimum number of characters that need to be appended to the end of S so that T becomes a subsequence of S. So we are having two strings S and T. Now what we have to do, we have to return the minimum number of characters that we need to append to S. We need to append to S so that we can uh, make T a subsequence of S, right? Now the question comes, what is a subsequence? So here they have defined the same. A subsequence is a string that can be derived from another string by deleting some or no characters without changing the order of the remaining characters. So when we say that T has become a subsequence of S, it means all the characters and considering um, order also in mind, order also in mind, you have to uh, take care of all the characters of T should present in S, right? For example, let's say here. So S is given as coaching and T is given as coding, right? The output is four. It means uh, they are saying that we have to append four characters to make uh, T a subsequence of S. Now see, append, see C O C O. So C O of T in the same order is present in S, right? I'm saying order. It's not necessary that uh, O should be on this first position itself, considering zeroth index, right? So O is on the first position. O can be later as well, but the sequence should be same that first C, then O should come, right? So C O, C O is there, right? But after that, if you will see D is not here, then I and G, D itself is not here, right? Then because we have to follow the order, right? So this complete D, I, N, G, we have to add. So append the characters D, I, N, G to the end of S so that S is going to be this. And, ne and now we can say that T is a subsequence of S. So that's what. So now if you will see C, O, if we will append this D, I, N, G, this ding in S. So S is going to be this coaching ding. So C, O, C, O is there. Then after O, you can see we are having this D that is present in T, then I, then N, and then G. So in the same order, we are having the characters that are present in T and that of S. So we can say T is a subsequence of um, S, right? So that's what. Now here, if you will see, S is having A, B, C, D, and in T, we are just having A. So A itself is present here, right? So we don't need to add any character. So output is zero. Now, here, if you will see, S is having Z and A, B, C, D, E. So, none of them is present. None of them is present. So, all the five characters, this A, B, C, D, E, we need to add to S uh, to make T a subsequence of S. So, that's what they have given in the explanation. That append a character A, B, C, D, E to the end of S. So, that S equal to Z, A, B, C, D, E. Now, T is a subsequence of S. Right? Okay. So this was the problem statement. Now you can take the help of the hints as well. Find the longest prefix of T. That is a subsequence of S. Now this hint itself will, will uh, do a knock, knock, knock. Right? That what exactly we can do to solve this particular problem. Okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to find out the same thing. As they have said, now. find the longest prefix of T. That is a subsequence of S, right? So that we are going to find out. So as of now, don't have a look on the code. First, we will understand it. So for example, let's take this case only, right? We are having this S equal to, we are having this, okay? Fine. Now, now see, there could be a possibility longest to fix the uh, maximum value could be the length of the t right 
the maximum value is going to be that only not more than that right uh, so now we will have one variable to keep track of the longest prefix and obviously it would be less than that of the length of the t right and another value to for moving forward in this s right let's call it as i initialize with zero or we can do one thing let's let's have a look on the code elsewhere so i and this prefix is responsible for keeping the length of the maximum prefix that we have seen so m and n m is having the length of s and n is having the length of t right so now we will start our loop right so till the time i is less than so i will be iterating to this part and maximum so i is less than m means we are we are under this i mean we have to take care of that as well that s should not be consumed fully and prefix value is should be less than that of n n is nothing but the t dot length we know that as of as if i clearly specified that prefix maximum value could be the length uh, of the t so when you got a match so c and c are matching fine so we are going to increment the value of prefix the prefix is what one now o and o are matching so what is going to happen prefix is again going to be incremented and obviously i value which is responsible for iterating here that is obviously going to be incremented then we can see here we do have a right then prefix value is not going to be incremented till the time we find that d because we have to do things in the order right so first d we have to find so prefix will remain to this index second index right so a is not then then again i value will be incremented c is not d then h is not d then i is not d then n is not d then g is not, not d it means the maximum prefix length that we have got that we have got is 2 right this is what present in s 2 so now what needs to be added to s so that we can say t is a prefix of s the remaining part whatever is the remaining part right whatever is the remaining part so how you can get this remaining part if we subtract the complete length of the t which is nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 to that of the longest prefix that we have got which is nothing but 2 6 minus 2 4 it means we have to add four characters four characters means this ding only because you have to return the count right you don't need to make the change in the uh, string itself right so you have returned the count so we can simply return n minus prefix so that's what we are doing here we are first checking that if s dot caret i is equal equal to that of t dot caret prefix we are incrementing the prefix value right uh, till the time this condition is true and i will also keep on incrementing if this is not true then i will keep on incrementing to find that next character right and once this loop is consumed we will come out and return n which is the length of the t minus prefix right so this was the solution for this particular problem hope you were able to understand at first you can find it a bit tricky i mean uh, that could be a possibility reaching to this solution at first is not going to be easy but yes that's an easy problem once you have solved so yeah thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye